standing next to my used 5x10 utility trailer that I just picked up. Going to get a little walkthrough here of what the trailer looks like before. I'm going to show you some of the fixes I had to do to it, make sure it was roadworthy. And then hoping to get you some uh, pictures of some mods I'm planning on doing to it. I want to turn it into a little bit of a utility trailer, but also use it for some overlanding, carry my kayaks, make it all around just a good adventure trailer. All right, so the goal here, some new paint, some new tires and rims maybe, new lights, wash the decking, put some sort of sealer on it. Thought I'd do a little walkthrough since I'm building this trailer. Uh, when I bought the trailer, all the lights and wires were either broken or ripped in two. So they were disconnected, so I had to rewire the whole trailer. Um, I had fortunately already had a wiring harness. So I used this wiring harness. A few things I did here. Um, I made sure that the plug was extra long. I never know when you might need enough plugs. Wrapped it in some uh, tape and uh, some wire loom. Also added a little extra here for the ground. Sometimes those grounds go bad and uh, or break. And any places where the wire might rub, I went ahead and had a little a piece of rubber hosing I had just to make sure. Um, I've had too many trailers with the wire rubs through on metal to metal, which brings me to my next wiring here. So I actually had an old piece of air hose, and surprisingly, it all fit. All four wires fit through this. Always leave a little extra wire in the loom, just so that uh, in case there's any issues down the road, we have something to work with. So here's the finished lights. Uh, the only issue I ran to is they kind of ran an angle slightly. They didn't quite fit in there, so future lights may be uh, changed slightly but for now they'll work they're in there solid and then here is how I finish the trailer So today we're going to take off the tires and check the bearings. First thing I usually do, take off the tires. You don't have to, but I'm getting new tires anyway, so why not? Now 
Now taking out this, I usually use a big pair, but you run into problems where you dent it, but it works really good. And I planned on getting new ones. Next, remove the cotter pin. Take off the large nut. Grease doesn't look too war, so that's good. A large washer and bearing, so. The back side, you'll also have a bearing. You have a seal right here, and everything looks pretty good. It's pretty well greased. Everything spins good. I think I'm just gonna put it back together, put some grease in it, and call it good. All right, so I just added some extra grease to the inside, just kind of moving it around. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it back on. Put the washer back in. Put the nut back on. Spins nicely. Put your cotter pin back in. That's really it. Now you can take the uh, bearing out of the back if you'd like by removing the seal. And sometimes you can reuse them, sometimes you gotta replace them. Should have a seal number on them. And uh, you can go to your local trailer store and get a new seal. Our local tra trailer store does repack all the bearings and everything. Um, it's not too expensive, but uh, it's always good to know, especially when you're out on the road, how to uh, replace these. Um, you, your local farm shop will have them, so if you're out on the road and something happens to a bearing, um, it's good, good to know. All right, so I'm not going to put the uh, tire back on today because I'm getting some new ones this week. Hopefully the next scene will be you seeing my new tires. And just repeat the process for the other side. All right, so I got the new tires in. Uh, I'm going to put the cap back on. Ended up not getting new caps. Put a little paint on it to make it look nice with the new tire on there. And... Uh, I'll show you the tires here in a second. Clean a little bit of the grease off. It's a very clean before I paint it. Uh, that paint probably won't stay on forever, but uh, you know, it'll look nice for a while. So I got some new tires here. They are some radials, ST100s, and they are Goodridge brand, Good Ride brand, sorry. 
um, STF 205-7550. Little... Pretty nice. They've got a pretty nice tread on them. I really like them. Got them from the local trailer store. Uh, according to the local trailer store, these uh, carry um, 50 pounds of air and the um, lug nuts need to be torqued at 125. So I'll just cinch them down. We'll let the trailer down and then we'll put a torque wrench on them and uh, get them all torqued properly. All right, so I've uh, set my torque wrench at 125. And uh, I'm gonna take a block, block the front tire, keep it from rolling as uh, I'm, not, I'm not currently hooked onto anything. All right, so I've uh, torqued them all at 125 pounds. Went around them twice to make sure I got them all. I also uh, recommend carrying this with you if you're going any place far and also checking them um, occasionally, um, every 500, maybe a thousand miles, especially after you first put them on, just make sure they're all staying tight and torqued down. Um, repeat the process for the other side and you'll be done. Take a look at them, see how nice they look. All right, so I got a uh, some stain sealer, waterproofing, some Bear Premium. Um, it's tenable, so I tinted it, got it tinted, um, kind of gray to match the trailer. And then I just bought a cheap kit so I can uh, throw it away when I'm done. So let's see what it looks like. So we got the little bit of paint done, some sealant, some new tires and rims, new lights. Gonna build a tailgate for it at a later time. I really like how it turned out. Redoing old trailers, something I randomly like. <laughs>